Ukraine lost over 111,000 troops in 2024, while Russia made territorial gains in this year, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu stated on Friday. Overall, Kiev's losses have exceeded 111,000 service people, 21,000 units of weapons and military equipment, Shoigu said while addressing Russian Armed Forces senior staff at a conference call. The minister claimed Kiev lost 1,000 soldiers due to the demands from the United States and Western allies. In his words, the US and its allies are demanding that Ukraine prevent the collapse of its defenses and contain the offensive of Russian troops at all costs. Furthermore, Minister Shoigu said that Russian troops had taken control of 547 square kilometers of the territory of new regions of the country since the beginning of 2024. He claimed that the Russian armed forces took full control of the settlements of Novobakhmatovka, Semenovka and Berdikai in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. Meanwhile, Russia's military death toll in Ukraine surpassed the 50,000 mark, according to the calculations of various media outlets and analytical centers. More than 27,300 Russian soldiers died in the second year of Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. It's estimated that the actual number of Russian deaths is likely to be much higher. European fighters may also be deployed to Ukraine along with US F-16s. According to French intelligence services, in addition to the American F-16 fighters promised to Kiev, the West can transfer Mirage 2000D, Eurofighter Typhoons and Gripen's aircraft to Ukraine. At the same time, according to Belarusian analysts, if Western aircraft arrive en masse in Ukraine, most likely they will be based on the territory of neighboring NATO countries. Ukrainian military airfields remain extremely vulnerable to Russian strikes and are likely to be used only for the short-term deployment of Western-supplied aviation, which will circumvent accusations of an attack on the Russian Federation from NATO airspace. Presumably, fighters for the Ukrainian armed forces will be stationed at Polish airfields in Rzezov, Lask, Radom, Powitz, and Krzesini, as well as at Romanian airbases in Bakau, Bucharest, Constanta, and others. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Ilya Yevlash, said that the American F-16 fighters expected by Kiev are supposed to be placed in fortified bunkers and special underground storage facilities. In addition to avoid the destruction of the F-16, it is planned to carry out dispersed use of American aircraft on various types of runways and airfields. As previously reported by the American publication Business Insider, former U.S. Air Force pilots suggest that the skies over Ukraine could become the most dangerous battlefield that F-16 fighters have ever faced. The Ukrainian Air Force have stated that they expect F-16 multi-role fighters to appear in Ukrainian airspace as soon as possible. After Easter, early May, this is a rather extended concept. Of course, the Air Force, like all Ukrainians, would like to see the F-16 multi-role fighter jets in the airspace as soon as possible, so we are anticipating them in the near future. As soon as it emerges that the first F-16s have come to Ukraine, we will communicate this issue and officially inform our citizens that we have these multi-role fighter jets, Ilya Yevlash, spokesperson for Ukraine's Air Force, said. The spokesperson said that the pilots are currently training in the US and Denmark. However, the number of fighter jets is not yet known. Nepalese mercenaries desert Russian army in droves. Nepalese mercenaries are deserting the Russian army en masse due to ill treatment and heavy losses. The press service of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported on this. It is noted that Russia's mercenaries from Nepal deployed in Ukraine are deserting the Russian army in droves. Russia has been reportedly recruiting foreigners from such countries as Nepal, Somalia, India, Cuba and others to fight in Ukraine from the very beginning of the full-scale invasion. Moscow uses them as cannon fodder on the front without preparing mercenaries for combat activities, said Petro Yatsenko, a spokesperson of Ukraine's coordination headquarters for the treatment of prisoners of war. 
the Nepalese soldiers assigned to military unit number 29328 of Russia's armed forces are deserting due to heavy losses, non-payment of salaries and commanders' abuse, including executions, for refusing to follow orders, according to Ukraine's military intelligence agency. The agency published an alleged list of soldiers and profiles of some mercenaries. The Russian military has mostly failed at finding fleeing mercenaries in the occupied territories of Luhansk Oblast, where the military unit was deployed, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said. In reports to the top leadership, Russian commanders claim that an earthquake in Nepal was the reason for mercenaries' desertion, according to the agency. Getting from occupied Luhansk Oblast back to Nepal alone is not an easy task. In addition, Nepalese citizens may face prosecution in their own country for participating in hostilities against Ukraine as part of the Russian army, military intelligence said. Over 18,000 soldiers of the southern military district have abandoned their posts with around 12,000 of them belonging to the 8th Combined Arms Army, a unit often deployed in hostilities in eastern Ukraine, Ukraine's military intelligence said. The Nepalese government asked Russia to send back hundreds of Nepalese citizens who were illegally recruited by Russia to participate in the Russian-Ukrainian war. The Nepalese government has also asked Russia to repatriate the bodies of those who died. Nepal's Foreign Minister Narayan Prakash Saud said that the Russian army had recruited more than 200 Nepalese citizens to fight in Ukraine and at least 14 of them were killed.